What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I see uh, my wife over to the right gonna help me out today. The A3 is sitting pretty on the dyno kind of lift thing to install some parts, but we're working with it. All right guys, so we have a three part video coming at you in this one specifically, airplanes. In this one specifically, we are going to be installing the front grill and a front lip. Oh, those are some hot looking parts. You guys know that's the cool looking sexy parts that need to be installed when your car is going fast. That being said, guys, we're going to lift this thing up, show you how to install those parts and go from there. So we're going to try to knock out the stuff up top before we get under the car and the sides. You got a T30. I'm going to take these three T30s off. Pop these off. Now you don't have to remove your wheels. You could turn them, but I want ease of access. All right, two bolts under here. One, two. All right, there's a nut right here. We need to pull this back. So we're gonna get a little forceful. There's a T30 that's holding the bumper in on both sides. It's gonna be rusted, so I did that to kind of break it free a little bit. All right, see my setup? Just got a nice long extension with the T30. We're gonna sneak in there and grab this bolt. So what you're gonna do is pull this baby back and if we can get this on camera, grab a magnet. There we go. Let's do it on the other side. Don't forget the two under here, 225s. There we go, T30. Good stuff. So we got a T30, three of them underneath. Now it's time to remove the front bumper, have a helper on the other side. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna yank this way, not too crazy, and then we're gonna go forward. There's still a sensor right here, so don't pull it all the way out. All right, you ready? Pull out, and then forward like that. All right, all right, cool. I guess we have no sensors hooked to our bumper. We're gonna go set this in a safe place. So we're gonna put the front bumper up here, but you guys need to make sure you have a soft surface so you don't scratch it up. And now we have it here, start disassembling. So you got a T25 here, two on each side. So let's jump over to the other side. So you got two trim removal tools, kind of help you to pick these things out. I'm gonna start up top here. Actually, I'm gonna start right here. Pop that off and pull away. One big pull away and there we go. So start there, hold it with your fingers over here. So I got applied pressure this way. Now keep going over here. Come over here, see I'm applying pressure with this hand and I'm gonna jump over to this one right here. So I got my hand back here to apply pressure and twist. There we go. I'm gonna jump down to this bottom section here. And on the back of this, applying pressure up and then pushing in, get a better grip. There we go. There we go. All right. See, nice and loose there. Okay. Now let's get back up to the top here. My hand's over here applying pressure. So there's one right here. Does not want to come though. Let's twist like that. Things busted, but it's out. So here we go. So you got this piece out. Let's jump over to this corner. So we're back into this corner here. My hands here is gonna be used for applying pressure. So back to this one. Seems to be the hardest one out of all of them. I wish, wish I could get behind it. That'd be nice. It 
see this because I'm coming at it on the wrong angle here. There we go. Cool. All of them are removed. And there we go. So guys, line up the bottom here. Look at that beautiful click. Oh goodness. Doesn't that feel better than taking it apart? I need to line these up. Before I get too crazy. So those are the T30s. We'll pull that in, or the T25s. We'll pull that in. Let's jump in over the other side. Start up top here with this one. It's not going in. Don't force it in. Just look to figure out what's going on. Why isn't it going in? Let's look around here. Is it just a tight fit? There we go. Good, that's in, that's in. All righty, let's get those T25s in. ECS did not send us hardware kit, so we had to come up with our own. We're gonna drill some holes, tighten it to the front bumper. No going back. Send it. So what I'm using is this screw and I have two washers and then a locking nut because this thing's gonna flail out around a lot. So we're gonna finish drilling the rest of these holes and start screwing stuff in. All right, so I was drilling through it and here's the size of my screw. Um, it wasn't long enough to get all the way through. So I'm gonna remove this piece of plastic and I already have the drill holes. So I'm gonna install it inside because I don't wanna hit anything on the front end of the car. All right, CTS didn't give us some bolts and stuff, so I'm trying to hide these bolts, as you can see right here. Where that? Right here, you probably could see that. You probably could see that. So, what I'm doing is I'm gonna paint this thing black. Don't trust me to paint. Not bad. All right, put the front bumper back on. Before we put the front bumper back on, you really need to clean this so it doesn't like, it goes in easier and also doesn't scratch the car and stuff, so. So, now she's new to this. I'm gonna show her how to do this. These corners right here, guys, you don't wanna hit the fender. 
So you're gonna stay really low, and we're gonna go slow, okay? Okay. Note, there's a insert right here. It goes right in there. So, here we go. You guys see, this is gonna go right under the headlight. Beautiful. All right, so guys, so you can see we made a mistake here. This did not go under there, so we gotta pull it off. So pull it off the sides. Oh, my, my, we gotta get it. Oh, yeah. Good job. Beautiful. Good stuff, guys. Nice fitment on this. 10 out of 10 recommend. Other than it not coming with the emblem, that's weak. And no, the emblem is bigger than the OEM one. This is just here to hold the bumper so it doesn't fall off while we do other work. So we're gonna start with these corner bolts. We're not gonna tighten it all the way. We just wanted to hold this in and then we're gonna focus on this one up there. So again, pull this back. Nothing too crazy. Not that I'm letting you guys see it. Okay, so remember this T30 back there, guys? Magnet. Or you can do it by hand, doesn't matter. Whichever one you prefer. I just like to kind of get it in there and drop it a couple times. All right, guys, I'm doing this by hand. There we go. Started the threads. Line that up the way you want it. Beautiful. Fitment. Beautiful. Remember, I'm not tightening it all the way. All right, boys. You seeing how I'm gonna sneak that back there? There we go. Good stuff, boys. Looking good. Doing a phenomenal job. All right, remember these T30s? It's time to put them back. Cool stuff. Now put those T25s back. Right back where we started, these T30s. Let's finish it up here. Whoop! Cool, cool. Here we go for the fitment. 